Did you think that Living Color was in direct competition but ignored when it came down to Saturday Night Live and then going, you know, they were going at the same time? A lot of two different things. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. Give me your top three, all the, uh, top three comedians, comedians of, of all, all time. time, dead or alive. <sighs> Man, top three. I don't have them. Why not? Why? Because to, to give you top three, I would have to slight somebody. Right. I would have to slight somebody. And, and everybody had their own space. During different like, times. So. Who's so, your favorite? So don't, don't have it. Because it's like. So, so if I say Dick Gregory, right, then that's leaving out Cosby. Richard Pye. You know what I'm saying? Then that's leaving out Carol Burnett. Wow, Carol Burnett. See, cause the I didn't expect thing, that so, one. So, see, the one thing is this. When you first started watching comedy, what did you watch? It was the world was on TV. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. And I started off listening to Dolomite, and I shouldn't you know have been listening to it. Now that's from that ain't track. That's from somebody's album. That's from yeah. that. I'm talking about when it's your when it's your when I was time. able to see it when I'm a kid when I first started laughing. It, it was, was before the eight track. It was before the Richard Pryor album Blacksmith. Yeah. When I first Who was start, it? When I first started laughing, it was somebody that I was seeing on TV. Carol Burnett, I'm watching, Burnett. My, I'm watching yeah. with my mama. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching goddamn How to Do the, I'm watching, yeah. I started laughing yeah. Yeah. long before mm -hmm. Isolated Artists. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm listening like, man, because the Carol Burnett show was on in my house. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This was on in my house. I Love Lucy was on in my house. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Amos and Andy was on in my house. Yeah. So I started laughing, not knowing what their titles were. Okay, okay. Had no idea. Because comedy is not a genre that people even we y'all really just start knowing that comics make money. Think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Who was the first black comedian on TV? If you on TV, consistently, it's probably gonna be Cosby. I spy. Yeah, the long long, he, yeah. But he wasn't. It wasn't. You didn't know he was a comic. Mm -mm. You just knew he was a. He's on Black Man on I Spy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the... i never seen I Spy. Yeah, that's know. the thing. Is it, it, do you got the people that was before that that really was is in black and white, but I Spy was in black and white. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know who was goddamn hilarious to me? That nigga from Get Smart. I didn't know this, who this nigga was. This nigga was hilarious. <laughs> you and be listening to that. You be on that TV, were you? That's what I grew up with. Yeah, yeah. I grew up from the TV. I'm like, man, these niggas right here stupid as hell. But, but, but you had the Richard came later. Yeah. With the album. Mm hmm This is when I knew what a comic was. I know he's a comedian. Red Fox? But the first, I didn't know Red Fox was a comedian. Oh, Sanford and Son. I never knew he was a comedian. Yeah, I never knew he was a comedian. So watch this. Everybody on San Francisco was comedian. Wanda Payne. Well, yeah, yeah, sure was. That's what so we just I had somebody know. talk about that on the show. Who knew though? Who knew? Who's that? Who, told well, what that was, was that Marvin was him. Nixon. Marvin said he said yeah. he he looked up to Fred Sampson. He got all of them on the show with him. Yeah, he said called, uh, he hired all of the comedians that was doing the comedy with him. He knew that. Yeah. So then you get watch this. Then I gotta leave out my man, Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, he was mm. crazy with it. But he was crazy not, with it. Now, what his thing was for me is, he brought everybody. He could have. He had his own HBO show. He yeah. brought the. He brought the Roseanne balls and the Bob Stan. He brought them on the show, sharing his space. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's I pick people for different reasons, but the whole thing is, then I would have to leave out Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, and he I was early. He Sammy was early Davis. in the game. So but, I would have to leave out Sammy and because Don Rickles was hysterical to me. That's I'm like, man, Don Rickles. I'm like, man, Don Rickles is a goddamn fool. You know what I'm saying? But, but when was the Three Stooges? Was that Larry Morning? I don't know them. I don't know if they was if they was comic. Was that that wasn't comic? They was. I they don't were, know what you call that. They man. were funny. They were funny. Yeah, I don't think they were comedians individually. Okay. So I didn't know it. it so and that's even the thing. Even like Mash. Mash was yes. funny to me. Point yeah. Good and all and all. Like, so when it, when I think about comedy, it's bigger than the stand up to me because it, it's so many people. Man, I would have to leave 
to top make a top three, even male or female, because I don't you can't isolate the females in this thing. No, you can't. Because you have, man, Marsha Warfield was fucking hysterical long before I was on Wanda Sykes. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Saying? It, it's um. You studied all these people. Oh, uh, he been on it. He got to. It's his crowd. It, it, it's a it's a thing when he come, man. Charles, um, just just think of on DC Cal. That Charlie Burnett is. The yeah, yeah. That's. That's. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, get yeah I get it. I get it. So you, you when you think about. Ain't no way to slice that cake. This, it, and then everybody on Taxi was hysterical to me. Yeah. yeah. Everybody on Taxi was hysterical. Mm -hmm. And it's the same people you look back at, you look at Saturday Night Live. You're like, oh, shit. All oh, these people was funny. And this this is your first introduction into stand-up past the the, the vulgarness of did, it. did you think that Living Color was in direct competition but ignored when it came down to Saturday Night Live and I then going, you know, they were going at the same time. A lot of two different things. Two different, because I felt the different when I would watch, when I would watch Living Color, I knew I was watching something different and new to me. It seemed new. It seemed like, it seemed like a. I didn't even compare it to a Saturday Night Live. A less, a, I didn't, I didn't even. Back, you didn't compare it. But what's crazy is back then we never compared anything. To no, anything. no, we didn't. We, we, we did. We, we just enjoyed what we, we enjoyed. enjoyed. What we enjoyed. What we enjoyed. And then we didn't have um I, I had to have. Yeah. You. Yeah. I didn't have to have no Jordans. Cause no. I, I, I didn't have to have no Jordans because mm -hmm. flights was out. No. Lottos, capers. I, yeah. It's all type of shit. I, it's no shoe I had to have. Mm -mm. You never grew up standing no damn line for no shoe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Just Pro like, wings. Yeah. So when, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like this. <laughs> This, Converse. This, this is how we knew that we didn't compare one thing to, to another. Who was, who had the best verse on the symphony? You never even, never thought, even about thought about it. it. It wasn't it wasn't nothing. It about wasn't it. a thing. It was a this was a dope song. Do, 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 do. I know that everybody get your thing. You it, it's all you all you own, all you own is the enjoyment of the show. That's it. Yeah, it's yeah. no, it's this ball, it's boss talk better than, than this and this. It Man, wasn't that. I, why we can't enjoy all of it? Can, and that's the thing. I just want to enjoy all of it. And I think that was, I think that's one of the big things to, did you to think, be able to did enjoy. You think light skinned chicks was better than brown skinned chicks or dark skin. You just wanted a girl back when it first started. You didn't care. <laughs> you, you didn't care. <laughs> no, <laughs> it didn't, this, this became a thing afterwards, man, because so many people. How much influence did the internet have on these comparisons, or was it just a what? What made that start? You think? I, man, I because it came in as a phase. Man, you know what's crazy? I never heard this ever in life. I never heard a top five, a top three, a top nothing until the movie Top Five came out. Never heard of it. So now everybody wants to know a top something. Uh, who you top this? It, Sports Center has something to do with it too. Top ten plays. Yeah, top, it, it's all this comparison. I never thought that MCs had said MCs had always said they was the best in every in every rap. Yeah, every yeah, MC yeah. Said they the best. Was that what started it though? No, no, what's crazy? That what started even even in groups. This was in the same group. Saying that they they the best MC. Ron would say he the number of all time. Of all time. But then, all time. But then still bigger. LL. It, it, people, LL was a beast, man. But it man, but we still never can pay it. I never thought, I never said, man, Kane is better than LL. I never mm -hmm. said that. I just said what can make that Kane crazy. Do you hear LL new shit? Do you hear the Beastie Boys new shit? Run them guys new shit. I, I never. MC Shane. MC Shane. I listen to Slow and Low. It's like I just it's, like, it's tricky. And it's like I'm listening to um my pops is on Broadway. Ooh, that thing. I is never. Stupid. I never. I know that bass line was different, bro. It was different. Even when, <laughs> even when, even in the beast with when it, when folks had rap situations, still liked them. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.